Hello my friends, today I'm going to show you how I'm charging my batteries. Since it takes about an hour to charge a normal LiPo battery properly, the challenge is how can you charge as many batteries at the same time with a single charger? Usually you just connect one battery to the charge output. The easiest way to connect multiple batteries to a single charger port is in parallel. These adapters are fairly simple to make by just soldering all the plus poles into one connector and all the minus poles into the other. If you want to charge in series, you need a little fancy adapter which I've already wired up here. I've made a separate video on explaining how to set up a serial ad adapter. So let's continue with the very first step before starting to charge any batteries in parallel or in series, measure their voltage. You could just stick the batteries one by one to a voltmeter. I'm using this 6S battery medic, which shows me up to six cell voltages at a time. That's handy because I'm interested in the voltage difference between them. To make my first steps with that new charger a little easier, I'm looking for six cells with very similar voltage. Yep, that looks good. They're all around 3.8. I like to put them all in a small compartment box and then just connect them to that serial adapter. By connecting six single cell batteries with 3.7 volt nominal voltage and 300 milliamp capacity in series, I'm effectively creating a battery with six cells and 300 milliamps. Um, so it has a nominal voltage of 22.2 volts. That means I have to configure my charger to balance charge a six cell 300 milliamp pack and I'm going to charge it at 1C at 0.3 amps. The main advantage I see in serial charging is that the cells do not have to have the exact same voltage to begin with, but that they are actively balanced throughout the charge. The disadvantage of serial charging is that you need to charge exactly as many cells as your adapter is designed for. So I have a six cell adapter, I need to charge six, I can't charge five or seven. So let's do some parallel charging. Here it's very important that you have cells with a very similar voltage. So I'm just digging out a few with around 3.8 volts again because if you connect cells with different voltages together in parallel they will charge and discharge themselves and that's not good. The larger the voltage difference is the heftier this charge discharge process will be. So if they are around 0.1 of a volt from each other yeah, that should be alright. 3.70748084 so that's 0.14 of a volt between the lowest and the highest voltage so that's getting towards the limit of what I'm feeling comfortable with for parallel charging but yeah should be good so connecting four 300 milliamp single cell packs in parallel basically gives me a single cell nominal voltage 3.7 volts larger pack with 4 by 300 equals 1200 with 1200 milliamps capacity. So since this is now effectively a single cell 1200 milliamp pack, I'm charging it with a single cell program at 1.2 amps. The main advantage of parallel charging is that the number of cells what you 
connect to a given output or adapter is flexible. So I could use this adapter and only charge three packs, for example. So that was my five minute charging lesson. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know. See ya later.